Hello peeps, I'm 30 and welcome back to Imperator Rome. Playing as the Republic of Rome, as always. So. I feel like I'm saying so every single episode intro. It's something that I notice myself when I watch my videos back, because I sometimes do it myself. I don't watch every single video, which is mainly the reason why you may see a lot of mistakes when it comes to, for example, editing, which I have noticed myself, because I don't have the time to watch it. It's a bit sad, but that's just the case. What I was thinking about, actually, um, is to move those guys, because I want them back in Greece. But before we focus on Greece, I would like you to actually subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done so already. I know there's about 70% of the viewers haven't actually subscribed to the channel, and that's completely within your right. But it's, it's a good thing for you to subscribe, it helps me out as a content creator. As well as it helps you out by you always getting notifications when I upload something. Especially if you press that notification bell, which is right next to the subscribe button, I think. But that's completely up to you, it's your decision. I just hope that you will make the decision that I want you to. <laughs> I have to be greedy in that way. I want the channel to grow, of course, and for the channel to grow, I need your help. Okay, let's get right in. We took the fight to the Antigonids in the last episode. What I would probably want to do is try and take the fight to the Thracians as well. They have hired... that's only levies, but I think they hired some mercs as well. Yeah, they did. That's a lot of... The thing is, I still think I could beat that if I wanted to. And I really want to take those things from Trace because I want them out of Greece. I want this as well. And they're not allied to Egypt, they're fighting against Egypt. Or they were fighting against Egypt, they're not anymore. What happened? Huh. They're actually trying to integrate those people. Interesting. Egypt, of course, is very big. Uh, the Seleucid uh, Empire is very big as well. Because it took a lot of things from Pasha. I remember that happening. But we gained an innovation. A religious one. We are actually getting further and further ahead of time, which does make sense. The Romans were the most advanced people of their age. After ancient Greeks, of course, but then they took over from the Greeks. Because that's basically the way things worked out. <coughs> Pardon me for cuffing. Provincial loyalty would not be a bad thing. It's not enough though to make things be okay, but... I want to keep on those things because I want to make the... the Empire or the Republic more stable. I don't want this one. I want to go for this one. No, no, no reason whatsoever. The Romans still care about the gods somewhat. They were a very open society when it came to gods, but I still want them to be. I still want to have these specific Roman gods. No one else. It's like every single research you have as Rome, some way or, the, or another, goes towards basically um, military ability because, the, like, every single research has some military things. Um, enhanced training grounds. I think I need to go there because I want to go for cohorts to make sure I can have more legions. This one will not be bad either. We are in the year of 245 BC. We're actually very much before the Marian reforms happened in real life because they happened in the late second century. About 135 BC or something by Gaius Marius when he reformed the entire Roman force because before that they usually actually used levies with the Astati, Principes and the Trariae. And then we basically after the Marian reforms the Roman army became what we know it as today. The professional legionnaires who served for 25 years with the opportunity to serve another 10 years or something I think if they wanted to and when they retired they would get some free land as well as some money them to retire. That one will not be bad, but... I'm going to go for enhanced training grounds. So, with designated training grounds set aside for our, new, for our new recruits, we have significantly reduced the amount of time needed to prepare our men to become a part of the military. Reinforcement speed plus 
it's okay. Uh, reinforcement is not a bad thing, especially if we have fight for the battle and we lost a lot of troops. I have 3k gold. I need to spend it on something. It's vital that I spend it on something, because I can't just sit there and do nothing. So, what I would like then... That would give us more money. Slave output. This one seems kind of unnecessary, actually. This one could be good. With tax income would go up. This will increase the happiness of the slaves as well as the output of the slaves. There's not a lot of slaves in, in Roma itself. Mainly citizens as well as freemen and nobles, which does make sense. <laughs> but I think we still want to spend our money on something. I don't need this one, I don't think so. I could build a temple actually in Genoa and that would make them more loyal. That's something I have to think about. This would increase population. So I'm going to build aqueduct as well as building... Not a granary per se. I want to build probably a mill. For an increased output of the slaves. So if we look at Genoa... Could I? No, I can't. It's only a port here. I feel like that's wasting. That's a waste. I'm going to decrease this. Oh, I can't because it's unloyal. I can't do anything because they're not loyal. That's bad. The province map mode, which... That's you. Okay. Jose. Hmm. I want people to assimilate. That's something I really want. At the end of time, I want people to assimilate. I think it's like, I'm gonna build marketplaces, then I can always replace them with building something else in the in the end if I want to. Now, the, the reason I'm doing this It's a lot of unhappy people. Because I just want to assimilate the people, increase the speed of the assimilation. <clears throat> I think those people are already Romans, it doesn't really matter. Somehow this is the thing in charge, it's not even a city. <laughs> this shouldn't be, Lucaria shouldn't be the capital of this place. I'd rather this be the capital of this place. One of those two. Probably this one is next to river. Can I actually make this the... They lose 20 loyalty, this become the capital. I want to move the capital to towards here. I see no reason not to have it here. I'm going to build a marketplace. Lucania should have a marketplace as well. And Tarentum, you already have one, but you do not have a tax of this. So I'm going to build one. And then we have this place down here, which is already maxed out. Okay, so here we can take this away and build a tax of this as well as a library. You're maxed out, and it looks okay. Maybe not level 2. But I think I'm gonna keep that one for now. Okay, this place, uh, it's not actually even a city. It is weird. Why did I put this place here if it's not even a city? Because I don't have, have any cities up here, that's why. There isn't really any cities up here. <laughs> How weird. You have two libraries, Cordula. I want to build a marketplace. I want to, I want the simulation to happen. As I think I mentioned it like five times now. Probably getting annoyed with me saying the same thing. But that's basically what I want to focus on. It's important for me. Do it like that and you can stay like that. I apparently own this myself. We have a foundry. Hmm. We have a building we shouldn't even be able to have <laughs> because the game works that way. Then I queue those up, and in this place we already have a training camp. I don't see a reason to have a training camp. It seems unnecessary to have it. Here we go, we spent some money on the new areas that we currently control. And now I want the troops of my legion to embark. I want you to move, preferably... 
close to where I want to be fighting. I would like to take those people down. And they're actually not allied to anyone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my navy. It doesn't have a command for some reason. He's 76, but he's loyal, so that's okay. I'm going to move them here. I want you... Where did the two ships that I had here go? I had two extra ships. Oh, they're actually already here. Oh, you, you, all of you. Can I, can I select everyone? I think I just gave a new commander. Yeah, I gave a new commander <laughs> to a ship that didn't, didn't even need it. And now you should go with down here. There we go. I want to take down this small guy, the Amphissan people in Boethia. They're not very strong, and I think we have, yeah, we do have an CB on them. People are happy enough, not the optimists though, but we gained an advance. This person of the plebs is dead. I maxed out my political influence. That's something I need to do something about. Probably the best one I could find, which is you, Cornelius. Cornelia person. I want to spend my political influence on something. What can I spend it on? Manipular Legion. Originating somewhere in the south of Italy, this logistic fighting force was a collection of maniples. Each maniple consisted of 120 men organized as a cohesive unit. Fighting. Pardon me. Fighting in concert with any number of additional maniples. Yeah, this was basically the Roman way of fighting until they gained the more modern legionnaire fighting way. It could increase my stability, I guess. Um, that's religion. I'm gonna spend... Perform a divine sacrifice. I think I could do some things. I could try it on something. Ruler corruption. Are my ruler really that corrupted? Is he? Where's the corruption? Yeah, he's actually corrupted. And this will not go down. That's bad. It's making him more expensive for us. He does have a very good income. Okay. So how much are we paying in wages? We're paying a fair amount of money in, main in wages. I'm telling you. We lost an, an admiral. Well, he used to be the admiral. Because this, this navy here is apparently not together with this other one. There we go. That one does make sense. Thank you, game. I want you 9k troops to move here. You're already here, actually. And now I want to attack this dude. Let's try to take him down. He has no friends. I'm just going to kill him. You, I want I want you to help out because of, uh, that's a fortress. That is a fortress. By the way, I actually want the triple Aces because that's the best tactic that we can go for with those kind of troops. Disagreement on the highest level. Appius Claudius Pulcher, a man of sound reputation, and Appius Claudius Russus, a noble man of great virtue, have recently started to spar furiously whilst attending the Senate. Such behavior is unbecoming of these people of stature. However, we have been called upon to take a side in this latest conflict. He has 16 power base. He has 40 power base. They're both called Appius as well. <laughs> I need to go this way. Otherwise, he's not going to be loyal. And this guy has the bigger power base as well. That thing went away. Um, yeah, I really need to do something about Liguria, by the way. I do think we could be able to defeat the rebellion whenever it happens, but it's still unnecessary for us just to just have that rebellion ha happen in the first place. <coughs> okay, so what's happening in the world? Cultage, of course, we lost that war, which is amazing for us. Trace looks big, and they're trying to... Yeah, Liguria might rebel. Only 23 pops. That's not a big issue. I think we could defeat those 23 pops easily. 
The Anthony gets, of course, have Cyprus, which in real life was very important. Well, maybe not nowadays, but back in the Bronze Age, Cyprus was immensely important. Because a specific metal, I think, you needed to create bronze was actually almost only ever found on Cyprus. It was in vast amounts here in Cyprus that you can find this specific metal. I can't remember the name of it. You make bronze out of copper and tin, of tin, but I don't remember if it was one of those two that you could find on Cyprus or if it's something else. We won that siege, I'm going to sue for peace and take it down. Thank you. So we have this city now. And I do probably don't want to keep this fortress. I don't think so, because I have a fortress here, and that's actually a city. So go away. I own this though, why shouldn't I be able to... I think it's like this. Petition! The wealthy residents of Neapolis have sent a formal petition on behalf of the entire province complaining about the governor. He's good though, I like him. He's doing a fine job. It would make... It wouldn't make yeah, it would make me corrupted even more. He loses money, he loses loyalty. I could remove him. I'm gonna send a representative is to pay them and make him pay for it. Um For some reason they haven't actually understood so far that we control this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I white pieced him out. I know, I know, I saw it. I understand what I did. I white pieced him out. <laughs> I think we have a truce with you now. Doesn't we? Don't we? We have a truce, right? Um, yeah. How long is that truce going for? Can you see it somewhere? And that's a CB. Where's the truce? It will expire in three years. Okay. We can attack them again in three years and try and make that right again. <laughs> Man, I, I, I effed that one up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I white pieced them. I really did white piece them out. <laughs> Sometimes those things happen. They used to happen. What I would like to do is try and kill you. You're not allied to anyone. So what I want you to do, go, I can't speak. I want you to go here and pick those guys up. And then I want to kill those people in Herm Hermione or Hermione. I'm thinking of Hermione and Harry Potter when I'm seeing that. They don't have any allies. It seems like. Yes, they don't. So. And this time I'm not going to white piece them out. I promise. We're going to try and not white piece them out. They actually have two fortresses. We have the Olympic Games again. That's bad for us. It's gonna take some time to siege them down then. I guess. I wanna take this cluster up as well, but I think they're actually all friends of the Wait what? That's mine. Wait yeah. I think they might be friends with the Thracians, but they're actually not. They're only in the defensive league, to league together, so I could try and go there and actually kill them, which I will do eventually. So that's their army. They're going to try and siege me down, which really won't happen that easily for them. Okay. Don't try, go in and try and kill them. That's going. That's not going to work out for you. Wait for your friends to arrive. Those people. Yeah. Now. They're feeling afraid. And we won. Good. Or oh, our friends won. Well, I'm trying to sit this down. <laughs> and not white piece it. So the Bactrian per the Bactrians won again. It seems like the Bactrians are good when it comes to. Uh, Olympic Games. Where is Bactria, by the way? I think it's like somewhere in this region. 
or not at all back to it should be really that's not the right one back to back tria that's far away How, did they actually come the entire way here to compete in our olympics <laughs> that's what we call actually dedication so i can see why they actually won it if they're so dedicated on it that's not syria i was thinking like they had the same color as those people do so i was like thinking did they just take this did something happen i don't know okay we won that siege i'm gonna try and take the second siege while you go here and, and blockade them For this scene, the civil war has ended. I don't even know which those people are. Those people, apparently. The Zeus Temple attracts travelers. The sheer grandeur of the Zeus Temple attracts travelers from all over the region. It is not uncommon that they vacation in the area and that large numbers use this as their destination to revel in the glory of our wonder. Not this one. And not this one either. Tyranny is not a good thing though. What does it give us? I can I can lose stability then. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, the Temple of Zeus, which was apparently very, very impressive indeed. In many ways. Especially with the big, big statue of Zeus himself. I think it was made in mainly in ivory but with a lot of gold and and gem, gem, gems as well which apparently very impressive incredibly impressive statue and i really wish that we could see it in real life but if you have assassin's creed odyssey which i do you can actually go watch the temple inside that game and they try their best to try and make is make it as much as possible how it, they think it looked in real life they took help from historians to do it that way and it truly is an impressive temple as well as the one in Athen Athens. Athena's temple in Athens, which you still can see in real life, of course, but it doesn't really look the same way as it did back then. And I have learned from my mistakes. No white piece. They were like thinking, why did he shoot you us down if he didn't try and take anything? The man is stupid. Those stupid Romans. Yeah, <laughs> those stupid Romans. I agree with them. I, was, I wasn't like, why why can't I just destroy the fortress? And it's because you don't actually control the place, you dumbhead. Because I'm... I can be stupid like that sometimes. <laughs> I have to I have to admit. Um, what do we need specifically for the mission tree? Liberate Greece. We need to take the Antigonids away. And Greece. Oh no, and Egypt. Antigonids in Egypt need to be away. It doesn't actually take into consideration Thrace. Only the Antigonids and the Egyptians. Where does the Egyptians have three holdings, though? That's the question. Because I, I really can't see them. If we select Egypt, can we, can we some, somehow see everything that they control? We can see the outer lines on what they control, but I really want to know what they control here in Greece. Because apparently they control three regions somehow. It might... Uh, it might actually be because of the subjects. So they, they have a CB on them. Um, Andras. That's how. So they have... Seeing as they have Andrus as their subject, that's why they're seen as controlling part of Greece. I think that's how. Yeah, neither Egypt nor any of its subjects also in the territories. So that's why. And we need to remove Andrus before the Egyptians could arrive and destroy our party. That's what we need to do. Interesting. But I really want to kick Trace out as well. That's the thing. But what I think we can do, we can try and kill those small people here, like the Megaras. You are allied to the Antigonids, but if I kill you, we don't have a truce. If I just go in very quickly and take this down, we would win this. 
incredibly quickly. The Antigonids would go in. If we have a truce. So I'm, not, I'm not even allowed to. Go around. Can we kill those people? The Boetians. Yes, we can. And that will allow us to try, try and take down those other people as well. Spurious. I guess he can be named Spurious if he wants to. And he had the twin as well. Apparently. We can't take those down right now. Megara. But I'm going to do that eventually, I think. Current. I'm past. I am past. When will this happen? In 38 months, that's about 3 years. About 3 years. Uh, I can actually disembark you here in, in Delphi. And then we're going to just go and attack Poetia. Yeah. Declare war. Take Poetia. And I of course have a superior navy to what they have. So how many people are joined in? I'm gonna try and take all of those guys in one go, so we can take as much as possible here in Central Greece. Or Central Eastern Greece, rather. I don't need money, I don't need food. We might as well just go for the discipline. If I ever want to attack the Antigonids again, I need that extra 80% discipline. Because I have a lot of money, which I don't really know what to spend on. I think the reason that we have so much money is because they you don't pay for innovations anymore, you get them for free. So don't, you don't spend those huge amounts of money on trying to improve your innovations. So I really think that's what has changed in many ways. In my opinion. That was easy. Um, who more? Rather, not who more, who shall I kill? I'm gonna kill her army, then I'm gonna go for Phoebe's. I killed the navy, which is good, I guess. Phoebe. Antron. I'm not even going to try and find Athens, because I, I, it seems like I can never find Athens in this cluster in here. It's impossible for me, really. I'm tr I tried many times trying to fi at find Athens, but it never really works out for me. <laughs> we captured this person. A minor addendum. I want some stability, thank you. So you don't max out the political influence. Okay, so you're dead. You are not dead. But I really want to take this place if we can. We can. So I'm going to go over there and try and siege this down. A petitioner approaches a strapping young adult by the name of Hostus Aquilius. Approach our consul in the private this morning. In a hushed voice, he spoke of a vision of the near future in which he was found by his loved ones having been hanged by brigands. With shaking hands, he offered all his worldly goods to the state in return for our protection. I don't really need the money, so I'd rather have the stability right, actually. Everything will be well, guy, man, I promise. No one can take you here. You're safe. We're in a safe place. I want you to go around. I want to have these ships help me with the siege. This is probably going to cause, cause some more exhaustion, but it's okay. Because of the ruler's seal. It's making things be okay. Oh, huh, we're no longer importing fish. Why? What happened? And the, the cohort is actually lacking food. But I think that's going to be okay as soon as we... As soon as we have sieged that place down and we get some more food, we, have, we will have an election very soon. How good is he? He is very good in military. He's not as good as the current one, though. Gurgis is amazing. He's so well-rounded in many ways. Which does make him amazing. What are you trying to siege down? That's in a revolt, that's why. So if you win that war, that's actually good for him, because that then it means that I could kill those people as well, right? These are Boetia, 
I do want the siege dose down as well. Can you move in here? Senatorial resistance. Vibius Fabius violence has proven to be a continuous candidate as council. Previously an outspoken critic of the government, he was spoken of with contempt during meetings of the Senate. All were surprised, therefore, when he was elected to rule Rome, casting aside any notions of propriety and class. With such underwhelming... He is part of the Bonai. But I'm feeling safe in that... Um, we look at... The government, only the optimates are unhappy, and I need to do something about them. But I think we can solve this eventually. So the Fabii wants a position. Which I will give them. And you should just go to the best person. But really. I want you to move in here. You should, I probably should move them like here or something, but I want them to help out in this siege. That's Buitia, that's Buitia as well. Manius. He's a truly a dire advisor. <laughs> People laugh at his sheer inability. That's not that nice to hear, actually. And you are starving, and I am losing a lot of troops to attrition right now because of that. It seems like. We have been informed that Marcus Valerius Corvinius was found brutally murdered in his home just last night. The investigators will have reported that the jagged rock was used in crime, a device known to be favored by Vibius Fabius violence. The council himself. Okay. However, we have no hard evidence to link him to the crime. Regardless, we should be careful. Yes, we should. We really should be careful. It's not easy. So they have actually hired mercs. They merked up. That's wise for them. That really is wise. We could do some provincial investments, of course. That's something we could do. Uh, can I do this here? I'm gonna do that. Let's try and slightly increase the loyalty. Try and make this happen slightly slower. Someone, the sustained person, a governor sits up in Gaul, he ate rotten herring. <laughs> okay, that's fun for him. You're not very loyal. You are very loyal. He worked good for commerce, but I can't keep that guy because he was very loyal as well as being a good character in any other case. Man, I'm losing troops. They might try and move in on us, and if they do, we're going to have some issues. Yes, we are. So we won that siege. And they are moving in. Um, this could be really bad. I need to reinforce. And there is no food here apparently as well. This could go really bad, but it's something that we're going to see in the next episode, because I need to take a break here, guys. Actually. I know you're sad, you're screaming, you're crying in sadness, but I need to take a break here. Um, a nice cliffhanger. What will happen to the first legion? The eagle. Aquila. Aquila. Something that we will see in the next episode, because I'm going to take a break here. So, if you have enjoyed this, make sure to like this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And leave a comment down below if there's something you want to talk about. That's everything for today, guys. So see you soon. Take care.